Hello everybody, welcome to this WinWinBot review. In this video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about WinWinBot. As always, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll also be leaving a discount link in the description so that you can always get your money's worth for WinWinBot. So WinWinBot allows you to launch your own online course with an interactive chatbot so that you can support your remote students. So as you can see, this is our main dashboard. Now, we have a option to create a new chatbot here. We have subscriptions to their Telegram bot and some step-by-step -step tutorials as well. At the top, we have a link, a list of all your chatbots that you've got along with an online consultant and then your profile here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit create a new chatbot. Now, there are four different options that you can go for. I'm not gonna do every single one of them, but I will explain what each of them do and how you would go about doing it. Under Telegram first, you will basically have to hit either create yourself or base it on a template. Now, we're not gonna use a template. We're simply gonna create it ourselves for just the, you know, the, the in-depth view of of how you actually do it but you hit create a chatbot now and in the first setup page you would put the bot name the description and what language you're going to be doing it communicating in um, so we're going to put one two three one two three and move on to the next bit once that you've done that you'll be able to put in your token now we're not going to get past this point um, for sake because I'm not going to be you know revealing the token but it's very self-explanatory after this a new bot must be registered with telegram so once you're in your messenger you will need to add the bot of at bot father then you type the command slash new bot in get your token and you paste that token in here and once you've hit done you will simply create the greeting on the third page and your bot will be complete with Viber, it's very, very simple. Under the bot name, we're going to put 123123, and you will do the very, very similar process of installing it on your smartphone, and then go to the partners website of partners.viber.com, create a new there, uh, bot there, and get its token. Once you've got its token, you will paste the token in here, create your greeting on the next page with the prompts that will appear, and then your bot will be complete as well. For Facebook, it's slightly different. You will have to log into Facebook to begin with, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, you're able to select your page. Now, this is what it will look like on Facebook. Obviously, I don't have any pages, but once you've logged in, it will ask you to select whichever page on Facebook that you want, and then your bot will work from there. Very, very simple. And then the final one is Instagram. This is more of a big chunk of text, so we're not going to be able to go through this. However, what you do is you make sure your Instagram profile is set to business account. It must be a business account for this bot to work. Then you create a new business page on Facebook and connect your Facebook and Instagram accounts to Together. That has to be done. Then what you do is you open the Instagram app and allow allow access to messages on and then you're basically done. Then you can log into Instagram and allow for further instructions. But essentially what this allows you to do is students who need to contact you or people who need to contact you on any four of these platforms, they're able to really, really easily. If they need help with something, all they need to do is message you and you'll be able to get them help through that particular thing. So once you've done that, you'll be greeted with this page. We're simply going to put hello one, two, three. This is all we're going to do and we're going to go to further. Now, once you've done this, it will say a couple more things and everything will be done. Now, this is what you need to do. You need to subscribe to your bot using the link and then send the bot this message. So I'm going to go ahead and do that very, very quickly. So you will be then taken to the online course. This is where you build up what you need to do. So once you've created all of the things, you'll need to add a new Telegram group for all of your students to be able to chat with each other. This is completely optional, as you can see. And you'll also need a group of channel if you're organizing online meetings. The group must be private, add your bot to the group's admins, and then send a test message to WinWinBot to see it. You're able to delete this later. So you can view all of the chats that you've got with the bot, um, you can view the groups and you can view the channels as well. The bot will just basically take you to a page where you'll be able to view every single person that they've messaged. The groups will be able to view every single group that you've got and then the channel is every single channel. This is very, very self-explanatory, but this is where you can control the bot or speak through the bot for whatever you really need. Under subscriber, you're able to view all of this. So as you can see, you see the subscriber profile. When they subscribed, the group, as you can see, I'm a tester and whether the subscription is active or not. The tasks tab allows you to view all of the tasks that you need doing. As you can see, all tasks are my tasks, and then you're able to filter by for today, planned or completed. Under segments, you're able to choose from your entire list of subscribers. Those who signed up on a particular day, you're basically able to segment all of the people that have access to the bot into different groups, which is really, really useful. In subscriber profile, you're able to have everything that you know about each sort of subscriber. So you have your name, surname, phone, email, all of this information here. You also have the field code 
code for that and the data type for the actual input and you're able to change this as much as you as much as you wish to whatever you wish it's completely up to you then under groups besides segments as you can see you can divide all of your subscribers into groups you can transfer a subscriber to a group manually or automatically um, or when they click a certain message so they can like click on a certain message and add themselves to a particular group depending on what they do it could be a class that they do it could be a level of what they do it could be a year that they're in it's really completely up to you how you do that and then the under the tags option you're able to add tags so interested waiting for an answer product a is paid and so on and you can assign these to individual people in your group manually um, by going to that person's profile in the chat section um, and you can also assign roles when people click on specific buttons in the chat dialogue messages and then you also have a little bit of analytics you're able to view all of the reports you can view your growth you can view your funnel you can also view the different segments and you can view of all time all of this you can see how many subscribers that you've got how many are active how many people have unsubscribed number of days since subscription lots of analytics to sort of get an idea of how many people you've got how many people are active how many people are inactive you might want to have a word with them etc etc you can also create newsletters to send out to the people that you work with. You can use mass mailing, as you can see, to send a message to every single subscriber, or you can send it out to specific people in specific segments on a specific day and a specific time. So to do that, you hit create a mailing, you're able to put the title, the message, the attachments, and then you're able to add a few parameters. You can check whether you want to hide the menu after this message, you can send it to a specific segment, you can schedule it, you can make it a temporary message, you can interrupt the dialogue, you can see if people have clicked on this message, and you can also prohibit shipping as well. Then you can save it or you can even send it right there and then. Under automation you're able to create a lot of automated sequences and schedules that fit your needs you can have scenarios you can have dialogues as you can see creating quizzes and texts um, or sorry rather tests you can have triggers when a message is sent a specific event occurs or an action is taken by the subscriber you can also have keywords so when a person types a key word or that you specify in a message a subscriber can then get responded to for having that keyword so as an example you can set the code word secret materials and if it is sent by a subscriber to the bot the bot will send the secret materials back to that user so it will basically be a sort of um, Marco Polo sort of thing so you say one thing the bot will reply with another because of that first word you're also able to use bot commands as you can see these allow you to send messages based on a command received so if they did slash help you'd be able to do a list of commands that that person is allowed to execute um, and you can do this for whatever you want and you can create a command with this button here you can also do reply buttons this basically creates a menu that will appear as buttons instead of a regular keyboard um, and when you hit certain buttons on this the bot will send messages corresponding to that button that you've just pressed you're also able to use quick replies so maybe basically if you if one of your subscribers sends you a message you're able to reply to that message um, to typical answers or typical questions that people are going to ask so it will read the message that is sent to you or to the bot rather for you know a question that is typically answered and if that question is asked then it will be replied to and then finally you're able to receive notifications about events in a form that's convenient for you under promotion you're able to manage all of your subscription pages you're able to view sign up pages and you're also able to have a direct link to subscribe to your chatbot with identification for each subscriber so you basically with the original one with the subscription pages you're able to create different links and pages and set up different welcome messages for each segment so if you had three different segments year one year two year three you'd be able to customize that so that only people in segment one get a welcome hello welcome year one and people in segment two and three get welcome year two or welcome year three so it's nice to customize it for people as they feel you know they're a little bit more being thought of as an individual rather than just a number you're also able to set up webinars you're also able to do website pop-up subscription forms as you can see pop-up subscription forms on your site which allows you not to lose touch with visitors to your site or the blog and you can basically tell them that it would be a good idea to subscribe to the chatbot so that they get information about it and they can ask it questions anytime that they want and they you know don't lose any interest in what you do and then you can also invite people um, and 
give people incentives to invite more people to use your chatbot. So you can activate a referral system and you can create a referral code. You can basically do a little welcome message to people with code requests. You can continue without a code. You can display if the code is incorrect or if you have got it correct. So loads of loads and loads of different customization options here, which I find really, really useful. And then finally, under more, we've got our, all of our content. As you can see, messages are extremely limited, but you can create stylish designer long reads. And with this, you're able to basically customize it to look a little bit more interesting because text just appearing on your page can be quite difficult to read through. So having something that looks a bit more interesting is definitely something that a lot of people would find quite desirable. You're able to look at payments and orders. So any products or services that you have, you're able to create descriptions for them and you can sell directly through the chatbot. You can also have a look at all the payments that have come through because of that and create new communications with those people and lots, lots more. And then in the next option, you can basically choose which groups or tags should be assigned to subscribers for them to have access to a specific channel. And you can select multiple things for that to actually occur. So different conditions and stuff. And you can also unpin channels from the specific bots um, to get rid of that bot in that specific channel. And then finally, you've got all of your settings. You've got password protection. You can change the language, domain, image, and description. You can also view the token, view template settings, view roles and rights of people that have admin and all the people and the subscribers to the bot, stuff like that. You can delete the bot. You can advertise inside the bot. And then you can also add a tracking code in terms of integration as well. So loads and loads of features here with WinWinBot. It allows you to, you know, really in-depth have a look at how you're able to communicate with people over an app. Obviously, it's very, very in-depth. So in this video, we haven't had enough time to go through every single individual option. However, I hope this video has proven useful in terms of what each option does and how you would go about using it. But that is about it for WinWinBot. So I have to admit, I'm very, very impressed with WinWinBot. Even though there's a lot of content to cover, I think that the way that it is laid out anyone can actually understand it. It's not something difficult, it's just long and it's quite tedious of a process to actually go through and learn every single individual thing. But if you take it slowly and you take it step by step, you'll be very, very, very surprised at the remarkable amount of things that you can do with this, the remarkable amount of you know people that you can connect with and help that you can give people, I think is absolutely brilliant. And with the online consultant that talks you through every single stage, that also makes it a hell of a lot easier in order to work it all out. But thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.